my fellow smartphone users, this is Lucas Eagle. Today I got some amazing news. Amazon has come out with their own phone. They're calling it the Amazon Fire phone, I guess. I mean, it sounds cool. Fire is cool. But they already did that with the tablet, so whatever. Anyway, I'm going to be running through some of the specs coming up. Right now I want you guys to watch the trailer. So I'm going to play that for you guys. Check it out. Yeah, this is neat. This is really neat. When I turn it, it moves. Whoa! It's kind of like I'm looking at a different world when I'm just looking at the lock screen. Oh, that's cool! Dynamic perspective reflects the way that we interact with the world naturally. The device feels more attached to the environment that you're in and how you hold it and how you move. The dynamic perspective was different than anything I'd seen before. The maps, by far, is my favorite feature because I'm always getting lost. The maps was really cool. You could look around the city from different angles. It shows more perspective, it seems like. I would feel like I know my way around a little bit better with this. This is going to change the way I get places. I love the maps where it shows the Yelp reviews. I found that really handy because when I'm in a pinch and want to just go out to dinner somewhere quick and like look around the area, it's just nice to do that. I moved a lot more than I usually do while I'm playing games on my phone. I felt really engaged like I was actually snowboarding. I did enjoy having the ability to just control the phone just by tilting it. I like one-head navigation because it's more natural feeling. With you know the flick of your wrist, you can get an additional menu. You just flip your phone, and then there are the pictures, and then you send it. I really love the auto-scrolling. I have a one-year-old, so I kind of live my life with one hand, so being able to just auto-scroll through something without having to use both hands is so amazing. Ooh. When reading, you can just tilt the phone and it'll scroll the article without having to use two hands or push. It's just easier to scroll this way. I like it. I can navigate very quickly or I can slowly read. I absolutely love the Firefly feature. Firefly was unreal. Firefly is almost like a search engine. If it's a book, it'll tell you the name of the book and where to get it. That is really cool. How does it do that? With an advertisement, it'll show you the phone number and the email address. That's pretty good. <laughs> that, I'm impressed. It was just instant, it was like boom. I can just push the button and all the technology that I need is right there. Based off of just the audio in the film, it can identify what was what's playing. If music's playing, a song's playing, you can instantly find out what the song is, you can find tickets. That's really cool. I would use that a lot. It's it's almost like the world is a hyperlink. Being able to use the Mayday app was quite amazing. How can I help you? Hey Dylan, how's it going? So Mayday is like getting customer support directly to your phone, but they're able to also help you use the phone by controlling it. I think it's great, like, he was able to draw on the screen and show me how to bring up menus. I want to be able to say, hey, how do I edit a photo? And I can just call Mayday, and they can say, we'll go here, and this is how you do it. I've never seen anything like that before. It's really well designed. It's just so user-friendly and practical. You use your apps constantly, and you're moving through stuff constantly. It feels like it's up to that speed. It's really quick. Yeah, you're not getting it back. Right? I mean, it's a, it seems like a really good principle. So let's run in through the actual test. Well, not the actual test, because I don't have the phone. I'm not that rich. I'm not that famous. Basically, what you get right now is a pre-order. You can't actually get the phone yet. The phone is going to come out on July 25th. So you guys are going to have to wait to July 25th, sadly. It comes on AT&T, it appears right now, that's about it. You buy it off Amazon.com, or maybe they'll have it in the AT&T store. Don't really know. Without a contract, without anything, $649 for the 32 gigabyte model. The 64 gig model is going to be $749 without a contract. With a plan, it's 200 bucks, which, that's not bad. I mean, it's a little bit more than the iPhone 5S, I think, or it's about the same price. I don't know, but it's the latest, you know, smartphone, I would say, when it's coming out in July. So some of the features of this amazing smartphone, well, number one, you get Prime for a year when you order it, which is pretty good. 
I don't know how much money Prime is, but I mean, you could probably, you know, get some movie, you know, <laughs> save some money. It is the only smartphone with dynamic perspective. Experience interactions not possible on other smartphones. Tilt, auto roll, scroll, swivel, peek to navigate menus, access shortcuts with one hand, which I think is very cool. And you can actually take on a character's viewpoint, apparently, to see around in games. And that seems like a really good feature. I think that's going to be a really good feature. They also have Firefly, which allows you to quickly identify printed um, stuff that's on the paper, as you guys saw in in the demo. A lot of these were the features. And then Mayday, which you guys also probably saw, which is a 24-7, 365 days a year. Touch of a button, no points necessary. Appointments. Over the AT&T cellular, cellular network and Wi-Fi. You can get their support team. It, if you, I'll give you guys the link. The link will be in the description. It'll also, you know, be on the screen probably. Little logo. Let's put it right there. Let's get it right in there. Um, so dynamic perspective, which I, it's a really nice feature. The maps look pretty cool already. This, all the quick toggles look pretty well. Pretty well. <laughs> I think the Firefly technology is very interesting because you can take a picture of an ad and just call that number. You don't have to type anything in, which seems like a really good feature, if it works. I mean, I might get this phone. It seems like a good phone, but I don't necessarily want AT&T, so. It's got a pretty good camera, 13 megapixel. I think that's most advanced, really, right now, besides, like, the... Uh, the Windows phones that have like 32 megapixel and the Sony phones. But for an Android with it shows blurry S5 16 megapixel. The 5S is only 8 megapixel, which is pretty sad. And the Fire Phone is very it looks to be very fluent. Not fluent. It looks clear. The picture looks good. And there's a camera button that you can launch the camera with, so kind of like an LG on the back. Well, this one's kind of on the side of the phone, it looks like. It looks like there's cameras all over the phone, but I don't really understand that. You know, you get unlimited cloud storage. Built-in apps. You get messaging, email, calendar, maps, weather, a browser called Silk, which I've never used. Clock, cal calculator, books, Amazon Instant Video, Amazon Music, audiobooks, shop, Amazon App Store, and games. And they have quite a lot of games. It looks like all the major apps are on here. I don't know how the avail availability is going to be with all the apps, but I think Amazon has a pretty big app store. And yeah, it's got new perspective stuff. So like when you move your device, it tilts, kind of like a background on, on like an iPhone apparently has that. I don't really know. And so it looks pretty powerful. Here's a shot of the taken apart phone. Lightning fast 2.2 gigahertz quad core processor. Fast fluid graphics, high speed data. And pretty good battery life, I would say. I mean, I haven't tested it. No one's really tested the phone. I don't know if you guys can try and find a test, but I don't really know. Oh, and the dynamic perspective is powered by the cameras on the corner, so that's why there's so many cameras. Okay. Very interesting. I'm wondering, like, if you're on a rocky bus, okay? Let's say you're on a rocky bus, and you're tilting, like, because it's jump, like, jumping around... How's that going to work with the tilt function? Like, is it going to tilt when you don't want it to tilt? That's a good question. That's that's what I'm wondering, personally. Dolby Digital, your music in the cloud, comes with pretty nice headphones that kind of look like the iPhone headphones with a flat cable. Amazon Prime. That's pretty cool. I mean, you could do a lot with that. Amazon's got good music. I'd say it's got a better store than iTunes. I personally like the iTunes music player. I don't like their store. So, 
hopefully it's the best of both worlds. I like the scanning part with the x-ray, where you can scan what's on the screen, what's, like, what's with the camera, and you can get stuff, like, you can see on the screen right now, I don't know exactly know how to explain it, but you guys get the point. The Fire OS 3.5, and I'm assuming this phone will be updated for quite a while. Personalize your Fire Phone. Technical details. Here we are. And I will be right back. And action. My shot good. Here we go. The Amazon Fire phone weighs 5.64 ounces, 160 grams. I don't exactly know how light that is, but it seems like it's pretty thin. Of course, the processor is 2.2 gigahertz, found on computers, I dare say. Some low-end laptops have that processing power. Quad-core, which is better than my computer. My computer has three cores. <laughs> so, the... Display is 4.7 inches. Oh yeah, it's got 2 gigs of RAM. That's another good thing. A good graphics processor. Resolution of 720p. Which, with a small screen, looks beautiful. Aaron, keep that down. Pop it down. Five seconds. Give me five seconds to do this review thing. Damn it. There's a 13 megapixel rear camera. Multi-frame HDR, autofocus, optical image stabilization, 32 gigabyte or 64 gigabyte models, cloud storage, nice battery, 2400 milliamps, I think it's milliamps, talk time up to 22 hours, standby time up to 285 hours, video playback up to 11 hours, audio playback up to 65 hours, 1080p HD video recording at 30 FPS with both cameras so the front camera must be pretty good dual speakers support screen mirroring and second screen so you can hook that up to your TV it's got a lot of supported formats sensors dynamic perspective sensor system with invisible infrared illumination a gyroscope accelerometer magnometer barometer proximity sensor ambient light sensor it's got all your locations got a different cellular uh, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, pretty good headphones, a nano SIM card, it is still micro USB 2.0, I'm assuming you might be able to get a 3.0 in the future, I'm not positive, but you never know, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, you get a one year warranty, you get the quick start guy in the box, Full year prime, premium headphones, and a cable and power adapter. So that's the basics of the new Amazon phone. And I think it's got a lot of potential. I'm sure it's going to compete with all the smartphones of today. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys soon. And I hope you guys take a look at the smartphone come July. See you guys.